In this tutorial, we will see everything about how to identify your images or your instances to make your work easier in TV Paint. Why to identify your images? Actually, it's really uh, necessary, uh, for example, to make the differences between the key images or the breakdowns or the different key images on the different layers, because if you are animating a character, we can have some delays, you know, with, for example, the hair or the clothes that doesn't move at the same speed. So the main keys can be different on a layer and another one. Let's see the first feature available to mark images within the timeline. So we can use the bookmarks for this purpose. The bookmarks can be enabled just by making a right click on the dark gray area just here. Toggle the bookmark and we can reproduce this on the timeline, yes. So we have three moments in the timeline have been marked with a bookmark. So I can move between these uh, bookmarks by using the shortcut Control, Shift, right and left arrows. The shortcut is the same, whatever if you're using Windows, Linux or Mac. But here are the bookmarks, uh, as you can notice, mark the whole layer, the whole timeline. And if, for example, you need to mark specific images on each layer, you won't show the bookmarks, but you will use another feature called the image mark panel. The image mark is available into the Windows menu. Animation. Image mark. Just here. So by default, we have just a single mark available, which is the red. To mark an image, you just have to click on the little plus button just here. And then the image is marked with a red uh, mark. So I can mark another image or another instance, whatever. And I can even mark some exposure cells, as you like. If you need to use other my, for example, you need to make the difference between the key images and the breakdowns or something else, you can add new color marks just by clicking on Add Remove here. So you have the choice with orange, yellow, light green, whatever. You can eventually change them later if you need. So we'll use the green one, yes. You can select several if you need, but here I will just use two different marks. So I will mark now new images like this. And now if I want to move uh, between the different marks, I can use the corresponding arrows just here. So I can use, for example, if I need to navigate between the green marks, I will use the green arrows like this. If I need to move between the red ones, I will use the red arrows. If I want to navigate between all marks, I will use the global one, like this. If you need to remove a mark, you can use the corresponding minus, so for all, uh, without any difference uh, between the colors, or just uh, the red one. Yep. You can eventually enable this button, so it will loop between uh, the different marks, like this, because if I don't enable this option, it stops at the last mark. And if you are using the marks on several layers, you can use this option. So it will navigate on all layers at the same time. It navigates on all marks on a layer, then it moves to another layer, then it moves to another layer, then it moves to another layer. And when you have a navigate between all marks on all layers, it goes at the beginning, especially if you enable this option. You can change the different color marks just by clicking on all and edit marks. So you can give them a name. You can change the color by clicking on the little color square again. Like this, and then you can hit okay. And here we are. Our marks has changed. 
So to navigate from um, Marx to another Marx, you can eventually enable a shortcut to move between every uh, Marx. So to do so, I will go into Edit, Shortcuts, and the shortcuts to open the shortcuts is Control K, and this is the same shortcut for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Then let's find the mark, image marks, and I will move, for example, to next color one, so this one. I will use K on my keyboard, so I select both, and I click on Assign, and then I will do the contrary. I will go to previous color one, and I will assign J, and then assign both. And I click OK, and I can move between these colors only. But there is also another way to move between, to navigate between uh, marked images, or just to navigate in TV Paint. This other feature is called the flip panel. It's a new feature in TV Paint 11. To open it, we will go into the Windows menu, Animation, and we will use the flips. We'll click on Select a Flip, and we have three choices. We have the basic, the directional, and the manually. The basic, actually, you just have to hit a key, and it moves in loop on a bunch of images. Directional, you will hit two keys, a key to go through and a key to go to. So you can switch between both and it goes to and fro between a bunch of images. And the manually, which is my favorite one actually, so I will show only this one, uh, since the other the features from the directional, the basics and the manually are more or less the same, they are not changing that much. So I will just, change, I will just show you the manually. And the manually, actually, you hit a key and you will flip according to the move you will do with your stylus. So the speed of the flip according to your own speed to move a stylus. And give it a name. So we have the limits. So with the limits, you can define if uh, the flip will stop somewhere or not. For example, I could define to flip only on this layer. So I will flip only in the duration of this layer. I won't be able to flip somewhere else. The checkpoints. The checkpoints are from where to where you will flip. For example, if I use all images, I will flip like this, like if I was using the arrows on the keyboard. If I use instances, I will flip from heads to heads. If I use image marks, I will flip from image marks to image marks, like this. And if I use bookmarks, I will flip from bookmarks to other bookmarks, like this. So let's use instances, for example. Come back to origin. So if, for example, you enable this option, when you flip and you stop the flip, it will go back to the original position when you started the flip. For example, I will also define if I want to for the, the direction, if I want to flip horizontally or vertically, so like this or like this, following uh, your habits when you hold um, the stylus on the timeline. And you can also define the steps in pixels. But let's first now assign a shortcut to my flip. Okay, assign my flip. And I will use, for example, H. Okay. Now I hit H and I move to my own speed just following the move I do with my stylus. And so here I have come back to origin, so that's why when I drop the key up, the cursor moves to the original position. If I don't want this behavior, I can disable this feature and then it stops where I stop. I can also define the step in pixels, so if I lower this value, it will move very fast just because I move from very few pixels. And if I use a higher value, then I have to make a very big move to flip. So it really depends on what you prefer. 
And last but not least, we can see about the marking and the markout. The marking and the markout are just marks. For example, if you have a very long animation with 200 images, and you don't want to see everything from the beginning. You just want to see, for example, you just want to play the animation between uh, image uh, 100 and image uh, 120. It's easier to use the marking and mark out. So I will enable the marking like this, and I will set the marking by hitting the little arrow here. And oh, I'll go further. I hit the mark out, and I hit this point. So now we can see two little mark, a, a green and a red mark, to say I will go from here to here and then I can play. By the way, you can start and stop um, to play an animation by hitting the space bar from your keyboard. <laughs>